What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerf here. And no face cam today because I have just recently had to re-download all my programs and hopefully this video comes out okay and everything because I just upgraded my computer to Windows 10. It's been a long time coming. But I finally joined uh, joined the party. So I'll try to figure out uh, all the stuff that I try to use to make the videos a little better next time, but for now, Valentine was online and ready to play matches for the tournament, so I just booted it up and tried to get something recording. I'm playing a Undead Yellow Decay deck here. Don't love the blade husks in the early game, especially against Decay when Soul Steals are a thing. Not sure how the Undead YOLO Decay deck does against a Mono Decay deck with Witch Doctor Humans. That's what I assume this is, seeing the Elmire Tribesman. But we'll have to see how it really goes down. Brain Lice. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and play, I think, a Blade Husk. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have a Soul Steal. Not like I had much other choice of what to play. Would have loved to play a Rot Eater there or a Harvester. I'll take playing something over nothing. So next turn, I'll play the Conduit. Could also damage curse something like a harvester, but I will probably save that for when it's uh, more of a surprise when it's about something's about to attack. So in the last video where I played the first match versus Franconi, I went ahead and lost the next two. <laughs> so sorry, Franconi. I showed the one match that that I won. The second match, I made a pretty horrendous misplay with with tempo order was it tempo order i mean i remember making a really bad misplay with a relorus or uh or maybe it was a maybe it was a um mercenary and i mistimed the uh mistimed the attack i would get by moving my units around and i'm gonna go ahead and damage curse so he doesn't get the blight seed stuff and I obviously lose my unit there, but he was going to die from poison next turn anyway, so pretty easy call for me there. This guy dies now, so one turn of a brain lice, but one health and two health is pretty equally bad against decay, because you're still in soul steel range either way. So yeah, I, I, I was pretty close game. I made a big misplay in the second game. I may have lost that anyone anyways. In the third game, I switched to uh, an aggroth deck and just got completely destroyed. I just didn't really have much of a chance in that game. He was playing Tempo Order and he had a better start than my growth deck and there's no coming back after that. So we're one and two in this tournament of sorts so far. Um, hmm. Regenitor is tempting because this is a uh, this would get out of soul steel range, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put the conduit down. I'm gonna hope he doesn't soul steal now on this guy. I really hope he doesn't. I consider the regenerator, but. I want to use this guy to destroy the Blight Bear anyway, so he will be poisoned and then subsequently die, regardless of 3 health or 1 health. Maybe he can get one more attack off then. Or no, actually. Okay, he's going to play a Witch Doctor or a Halls of Omlasa. Or a Omlasa High Guard. No. Okay. Yeah, I thought he would do that piece. Oh no, he yeah, has the Soul Steel. Darn. <laughs> and that goes in the worst spot. Hmm. That was a bad spawn location. Well, that was a 
bad turn of events for me. <laughs> Pretty bad. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put something in front of this so that I can get more revenants to spawn from it. I don't want the Blood Barrier to attack it. And I want to get the Harvester down because things are gonna die. So that means I'm going to play the Harvester and Darkling. The Regenerator is tempting to keep just because... Hmm, should I move it up? I'll keep it down here. The Regenerator is tempting to keep just for the case in that you can play it on a unit and I can make this conduit uh, spawn two more revenants in its lifespan. But when it comes down to sacrificing that or a restless bones, I think I gotta I gotta sacrifice that. The um, restless bones is too powerful. But definitely not happy with <laughs> the soul steel play yet. Should have regenerated last turn. And there's the witch doctor that I was so afraid of. Oh no, the one out of four chance. That is <laughs> unlucky. Again, I can't attack. And that was the only spot. I, I guess I could have put the harvester down there to make sure that couldn't happen at all. <sighs> that is pretty rough. Okay, I'm going to move the harvesters down now. Because this guy can attack pretty pretty far. So, at least the harvesters are going to count down a little bit. This is going to be boosted a tiny bit. Now his harvester can go off just with a damage cursor or soul steal. This is not looking too good. I'm probably going to need a damning curse to get rid of the Witch Doctor or Harvester. I don't know what else I want on top deck. Oh, those are some really, really bad turn of events there. <laughs> okay. I think my chance at winning this game hinges on a nerve of going nuts. So although I like the Restless Bones, i going to get rid of it. And now i got to run to play with it. Okay, I'll just play the Yerba. I'm gonna play it up top. Okay. And stay out of view of the Harvester. And now... I'm probably going to get rid of the Brain Lice. I think I need the Revenant in hand to make some kind of fancy play. Problem is now I think I, I got rid of a Restless Bones, maybe two. He's a lot of I haven't done a lot of idle damage. That's a big issue. This is not not looking too good right now. And a pack husk. Okay. And another harvester. You know what? To try to let you guys see more um, games in one video, maybe I will surrender because I don't think I'm going to win this. Yeah, I can't even make that attack. GG. Okay. So let's do it again. Let's go ahead and challenge Valentine using his using his special special challenge thing. Custom here, so you challenge something in case you didn't know how this works. I'll keep this in the video. If you want to go first, you just do custom match, and then you go to Valentine's challenge here, and the person who challenges will play first. And I'm going to want to win this one, so I'm going to go ahead and play Tempo Order. That's what you do when you want to win. And we agreed to, if the second game, um, the person who, it was the first game was random who went first, 
but we agree that the second game would just be uh, the person that went second in the first game has the option of going first in the second game, which definitely makes some sense. And I think as tempo order, that's what you want to do. So let's go ahead and get these units out here. Gonna have to uh, play against a K again. Maybe the same deck as he just played. So once again, they're gonna be dodging soul steals. It's hard for him to play anything right now without it dying very soon, though. Or I can just deal idle damage. It's also an option. Infected husks. That's what I played on the second turn last game. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the bean potion. Okay, now I have, um, he could go with a soul steal next turn, so I'm gonna play this as well. I could just bust him haste, but one of these guys is gonna survive to kill this. I'm pretty sure. Is he gonna soul steal still, knowing that that's gonna happen? Next turn, I just want to play the Expedition Guard. Okay, so now he can... He can protect his guys, I guess, if he wants. He's not going to. Okay. So I'll play the Expedition Guard now. And deal one damage to an idol. Gonna have to kill this guy eventually, so may as well just kill him. I hope I get damaged by something that I don't care. I mean, I hope what I meant to say was. I hope this gets poisoned in the front. Uh, didn't love him getting poisoned. It's fine, though. I mean, it was one in three chance, and I guess I'd at least like this guy to be poisoned, because he'll be a big, big guy. And ever since poison lasts forever, you want the poison to hit the big units. If you didn't know, poison used to only last three turns in scrolls. But there was an update towards the end or something. Not that close to the end, but it was it was towards the end where poison was changed to last forever. Okay, well that's gonna kill him eventually anyways. Poison always does pretty good against tempo order. And now is where I wish I played had the blessing of haste that I just got rid of. Um He's gonna be able to destroy something here. I'm just gonna play the, the Relorus. If he wants to attack the Relorus, he can. He can choose what to attack now. But he's gonna have to put some units on the board because I can deal idle damage rather quickly as tempo order. Darn, wish I had kept that Blessing of Haste so I can get another attack in. He actually needs to play uh, two units here if he wants a 100% chance of destroying the Aging Knight. He would have to move the Meyer Shambler down here, and then he'd put a unit here, and a unit here, and then it, the Meyer Shambler would move right there. Wait, I don't think he's playing two units if he already had to use uh, two resources. And he goes for cards, and he doesn't really have a single... Uh... Right, that's going to die. I guess he's playing a poison deck. Did he play a counter knowing I played Tempo Order in the second game? He might have. He very well might have. Okay. Two thirds chance not hit him. Okay. Not the best scenario where it would have moved down to the bottom, but I guess it's fine. Um, Pother would not give you any attack, so I'll just play the guard. That's yeah, skirmisher. Okay, I am going to kill that. As much as I'd want to just deal idle damage, I'm going to kill it. For the off chance that there's some weird um, Meyer Curse business, I'm going to separate. I've seen a Meyer Curse deck played against me today, so. Okay. What's coming in now? Oblivion Seeker, Infectious Blight, Curse Monger. Alright, let's get rid of one of these, 
Um, wings capped in time, I think. That's the that's the easy call there. And I'll just put the wings capped in front. So I'm gonna have um. I have some pretty beefy units now. I'm liking my position. Also, the Lhasa. Um. Do I pother? Could pother and hope that moves up. Do I go over the fifty percent chance? I think I should. I could pother this, but then there's not a hundred percent chance it moves. Yeah, and I wouldn't get the plus one attack unless it was next to that. So I'm just gonna pause there this and see if it moves up. Go up. Ah. I could just flip it now. No, I'm not gonna flip it. I'm just going to play the guard. I'm gonna just deal idle damage. And I'm going to play the guard. I'd rather just deal with damage or simple order. And you can't outright kill anything with the curse monger right now. You could curse something and poison it. But uh this thing was gonna the relish was gonna die of poison anyways, without a curse. So yeah, it helps if he it'll help him kill the skirmisher if he wants, but I have spells in my hand, I can make a lot of damage happen pretty quickly with the relish out there. So I hope to top deck, you know, a couple focuses, maybe a couple more blessings of haste. I don't think that's possible. I think I already sacrificed a blessing of haste, so there's probably only one left in the deck. What is he thinking of doing? Pretty nervous, but I am alive. Is he gonna brainless that? That'd be a little. Okay, that's it. Okay. Ah, that's, that hurts. That does hurt. He really went for the counter against my deck. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, there's a bean potion or a flip. Probably gonna get rid of the flip. Actually, the flip, maybe like Witch Doctor comes and I'd be screwed, so. Ah, I wish that Rollers was still here. Um, okay, I think I'm going to Roast a Bean Potion. This has moved to a ready, so if I Roast a Bean Potion, I can destroy the row. I am going to destroy the row. So that does... Uh, this is six. So three. Should I just focus right now, or... Um, yeah, I'm gonna focus. Unfortunately, a little bit of damage is wasted. At least it cleared the row. And now I have four health units that he cannot soul steal, and he, even if he tries to pick his, uh, use his Halls of Elmasa to get them back, he cannot soul steal them. So I'm definitely happy about that. I definitely am happy about that, is what I meant to say. Pretty close game, I'd say. Definitely haven't done the amount of idle damage I would have liked to by right now in the game. Cluster X. That guy is probably gonna, you know, try to grab another Baleful Witch from this next turn. Unless he has one in his hand already. I have all three decimations still. I have all three, um, I have the one faith blessing. Okay. Focus, I'm gonna keep. There's a decimation. I really hate just, I'm gonna destroy it, yeah. I'm 
gonna move these guys. I want them to next to each other, but I'll just move slightly out of the way for uh that's that's not a lucky draw too. Okay, hopefully it doesn't have another way to curse this guy. Pretty scary. Very scary. Can't say I'm getting the best draws right now. Uh, you gotta deal with what you get. If that Relora survived that turn, I would have been looking pretty. Would have dealt a lot of idle damage. Mm. This is not a good matchup for me. And a brain lice. Rollers, please. Oh, that's good. Okay, so. If I play the. I can decimation to get rid of the infectious flight, but. I think I need to get that guy's attack in, to be honest. Let's play the Rollers. And then I'm gonna play the Focus. At least. I have an idol. At least I have an idol in um, in decimation range. Okay. And then I have a six health idol here and a five health idol there. It's gonna be doable to win, but. Or maybe not, considering I don't have the aging. I don't really have aging knights left. Okay, this is gonna have four attack now. Okay, so if I, so four attack, I could get it to five attack. I'm definitely gonna deal idle damage, I think. So I can get this to five attack. With the spell, I get to six attack. Um, I could just take out this idol if I really wanted to. I think I'm going to have to save that though. Um, I'll get rid of the... Hmm. The Wings Warder Skirmisher seems like a good play because then I can do some big things next turn. I'm going to do the Wings Warder Skirmisher. So this way... It's harder for him to clear my row. Okay, so now there's two idols in decimation range. That's good. I might be alive. Now, if I play a Blessing of Haste, you'll have four attack. If I play Decimation, you'll have 5 attack. So I can get to 7 attack on this row. And then I would just have to draw the 3rd Decimation. I don't think I've sacrificed any Decimations, and I haven't sacrificed the 1 Faith Blessing. Okay. So that hurts a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. Because I still get the Rollers effect. And this, for a second, I thought this ability would not activate if it had more than 1 countdown, but I think it does. And a cluster hex. Okay. That was not too smart leaving that idol open, I don't think. Faith blessing. Target unit you control takes two damage. I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna I think I won this game because I'm just going to uh Blessing of Haste on this. And then I'm going to play it. This is Curse 2. Magic damage doesn't do it, right? I'll just actually move. I'm going to 
I guess it doesn't really matter because I, I won the game, I think. So then I'll just play Decimation down here. And then uh, I won next turn just by placing a unit up here because I don't think there's any way Decay can heal the idols. So, didn't look too good, but tempo order just cannot be stopped sometimes. I think he, last turn, he shouldn't have opened this middle row to the 5 health idol. I needed to get to that one. So I just have to move a unit up top, up one space, and play the Faith Blessing. Try just tell him I already have it. Okay, GG. Okay, game three. Uh, maybe this one. I'm gonna try to fit the whole thing in one video. I'm gonna play the whole thing. Okay, let's go with. Let's go with a. Go with aggro. I want a deck that's just gonna plow through, not give me any headaches. If I lose, I lose. Okay, and we go first for the last game. Um, I think this is a good starting hand if he doesn't have a ragged wolf as like aggro. Do I can go turn three play and then a turn four play? Let's see what he's playing. Hopefully it's not a Ragged Wolf. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it though. Okay. It will survive. Uh, Aging Knight is not what I wanted to see though. I'm going to play the Menher. Don't like just sacrificing that. I wish I had a... Uh, three health thing to play on turn turn two there. But it's not the worst. But the Fang Bear will be very good for me to play now. So I will play the Fang Bear. I'm gonna actually play the Fang Bear behind because now that I got the four attack thing there, um, I think it's more, more valuable. Uh, even though the Vetter can be killed more easily, he can, Order can easily play a Focus or something to get rid of that, so. I have the Ragged Wolf, but I don't think it'll be uncovered at this point. Maybe I should have sacrificed for scrolls there and kept it, I don't know. Okay. Veteran. I'm gonna play the Veteran. And now I hope he doesn't have a Decimation. His decimation would be pretty valuable. It wouldn't be, actually, he couldn't he couldn't destroy the Veteran then because he would have to move his uh, Asian Ant or it would, it would die to the Decimation. I haven't played Growth in a while, I feel like. Or I did in the last game against Franconi, but that really didn't go well and it was over really fast. And it was against Tempo Order, but I didn't have this strong start. Sometimes against Tempo Order, you feel like you need a perfect start. Okay, that does kill that. But I'm going to be able to take at least that out. A couple things out, actually. Give me a Great Wolf. I'll take that. I mean, at least I got like a four drop. Okay. Totem will be nice. And hopefully he doesn't have a, you know, a, something to uh, kill my bear. Skirmisher. That's the guy who scares me. Gonna get rid of the mangy wolf. Okay, great, great wolf or ranger. I think I'm gonna have to play the great wolf. If he plays blessing of haste, focus. He'll have six attack. So six attack. Double focus would kill that. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to bank on the fact he doesn't have the Blessing of Haste double focus. If he does, then that would be pretty awful. Or it could have like a Blessing of it could have Roast Bean Potions too, and I don't know. I mean, the only thing I was deciding is if I wanted to move the better in the row too. It makes it easier for him to clear everything with the Skirmisher, but that one health could be the difference in, in the uh, Fang Bear dying or not. But it would be pretty unlucky for him to have all those cards. Alright, he doesn't. And I'm going to clear his route because I have a Earth and Mirth. Or I'm going to almost clear his route at least. So that's 5 attack. That'd be go, it would go to 9. Actually, I can't clear the row. Darn. It's close, though. Ooh, rumble. Do I rumble instead of the Earth and Mirth? Because if I rumble, I could potentially destroy everything. Um... I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm not going to rumble. I think that's too risky. So he can easily destroy this, uh, Great Wolf if he just has a, um, if he just has a Ducal Infantryman or a, or a Proud Mercenary. But I kind of like keeping the 9 attack relentless guy alive. And does he have one of those? But yeah, I like, I like my point in this game now. It's hard for Tempo Order to come back. Because they don't have, you know, Arbalestiers and Mangonels to clear my units. And he does have a Mercenary, unfortunately. So that's not a great thing, but it's okay. I'll just play the Wetland Ranger now. And I'll line up. He can get a he can get a pretty valuable decimation on me. But I don't think uh that'd be the it wouldn't really hurt me that much. I'd I like that more than leaving either my Vetter or my Fang there exposed to an easy Blessing of Haste, Blessing of Haste Focus or something like that. And next turn I can play two Stone Recluses. Okay. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Always have the rumble just in case if I want to as well. And he's going to try to come up with some kind of assault up top which is probably his best bet at this point. And I assume that's all he can do. Maybe he's just debating if he wants to move his uh, guys so they're not in a row. But I can just kill everything anyways. So it's not a huge deal. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of the recluse now because I'd rather play something that's going to attack next turn. Um, I will use the 9 attack on destroying two things. I'm going to move up here. I'll play a recluse. And I'll play a brave. Okay, I think uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good turn for me.
I can play the Nyara next turn, and then it's going to be hard to stop me. Decimation. It's a pretty good value decimation. And a Rissa Beam Potion to take out the Brave. Okay. Um, and now I just top decked about the worst card that he wanted to see. I'm very sorry, Valentine. I really am. Yeah, that that better was uh, pretty good. And I won two out of three in this one. Lost two out of three in the last one. So we're 500 in this tournament thus far. Thanks for watching, everybody.